Okay, so the very beginning of our specimen preparation begins here at the freezers where birds that we get from the public and from the rehab centers, they get held in the freezer until we are ready to process them. So these birds are roughly organized by taxonomy and priority. So when I find out how many volunteers we're gonna have for the evening, I pull out the necessary amount of birds and get them thawed out for our volunteers. So once the birds are thawed, our volunteers will turn them into a research specimen. So here is my, my prep area. You can see we use very simple tools. This is a, a very straightforward process. We're doing it the same way now that they were doing it hundreds of years ago. And uh, this is where all the action happens. So we use ground up corn cob dust to keep our hands clean, keep the feathers clean and dry and to absorb moisture during the prep process. And once the birds are prepared and we're happy with how they look, we pin them to foam boards. And we pin them in the position we want them to stay in. Now bird skin is so thin that it just air dries. We don't need to use any hard chemicals to dry them out. So we just pin them in the position we want them to stay and just leave them be in this awesome drying rack built by one of our uh, museum carpenters. And they'll just hang out in the drying rack for about a week if it's a small bird, a few weeks if it's a larger bird, until the skin is fully dried. Now once the skin is fully dried, all of the information that our volunteers jotted down while preparing the bird is transcribed onto these data tags. And these data tags stay with the specimen forever. And this information gets cataloged and digitized and is associated with this bird for the rest of its time here at the museum. So once the birds are dried and their tags have been attached to them, we have another volunteer that catalogs all the birds in the old school book. So once the birds are in the book, that's when they get their accession number and they officially become a research specimen. They go into the negative 60 freezer over on the other side of the room for one week. And that's to get all of the possible pests that might have hitched a ride onto the birds while they were drying or being prepared here in the prep lab. Uh, we've got open doors and windows and bugs find their way in here so the freezer makes sure that only the specimens are going into our research collection and no hitchhikers. So once they've uh, spent their week in the freezer, they go down to the, the collection where they're permanently housed and back of house where they are digitized, so all of the information that was put into the catalog and was written on the tags goes into the, the database on the computer, which eventually will be put onto VertNet, where uh, our collection can be searchable worldwide for researchers and, and people just interested in birds and the birds that we have here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And then once they are digitized, put into our, uh, our uh, computer collection, they get integrated, into the collection itself where they're permanently housed. And that whole collection is organized taxonomically and then they're organized by male, female, and by calendar date. So each bird has their own little spot in the collection.